Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Was so surreal. Famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Uh -oh. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should the upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. You can find out all about him. Sorry, Max. No more selfies right now. Online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Yes, Victoria. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo. So, you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. 
I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. And I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating. By putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter- Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. But who wins? This is just a bump on a bigger road. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. This Hi, Max. Not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera. I, you know. Kate, I, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Yeah, you you always Welcome to the cute. real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special I picture. Like you you have to pass some sort of test because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. She plays it so shy. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I sh I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. 
I wish October would last forever. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kinda like that about him. Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. <sighs> now who would bother to write that crap? The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. This poster must drive people to have sex. I'm good to flow, thanks. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom, 
He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand, and then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow, from color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Can I actually reverse time? There you go, Victoria. Why? Did now, it. Can you give I me actually an did it. A photographer who perfectly captured human the human time condition machine. in black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopelessness. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful <sighs> photographic tradition, and Max. As a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please... Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me I after class. A French painter and I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the metro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Bro, oh, Max, since you've captured our int- The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louise Daguerre, around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Yes. Victoria, you still nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You, you look pale. Kate, um, uh, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. No matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also- I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars of- I'm not avoiding, just- Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Okay, 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 okay. 
from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera eye, and everybody oh, should totally. have that chance. I Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I... Or let one of photography's... I'm on top of it. Max, you're on fire today. That girl needs your help now. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Daniel is getting bullied all over again. I hope he doesn't remember. I know you didn't forget you always catch. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. What's that got to do with... Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face, I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! I need a I'm hammer so to break it open! Of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy... I need a hammer to break it open! No! No, 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 no! Tell me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey! Do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girl's room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girl's room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family. 
and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't- Don't wander around here. Get on outside. You look a little stressed out. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. What the hell is the Vortex Club, anyway? Seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh yeah, and she was hot. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. 
Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. I better... Read Warren. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. Come on, Logan, bring it, brah. Yeah! I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. No. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself reading Chicklet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading Chicklet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Well, only she would know that, right? Ah, uh, I guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. Awesome. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery. Positive and negative. Sweet! What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward. Like a clock. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. See you later, Samuel. Nice and watch you step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. Mm -hmm. Hi, nice. Kate. Hey, Max. How did you like class today? I don't remember. I guess I don't care about much of anything today. Is there anything... <clears throat> Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Nice, Is there anything... Ma hmm. 
Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell up. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Nice. No. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? Yeah. You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. No. Do you understand English? Get lost. Grab that. Samuel is way too close. Okay, let's see if this works. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You no way! No fucking you okay, way! Okay, Victoria. Oh, Samuel, we're sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Hold on, hold on, we'll get some towels, we'll be right back. Okay. So move your ass before I dry! It worked! Don't mess with Max, bitches. Sweet! Just... Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Oh, dude. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? Okay. I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room. Then...
Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Go, Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Victoria is going to be pissed. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. Juliet, extreme reporter. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Man, people here are merciless. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. At least that's an alarm from this century. We get it, she's missing. Somebody has gone crazy. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Thanks for the warning. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Obvious, but true. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon.
Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual H. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. I look so pathetic. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Philip Lorca de Corsia, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Cartier-Bresson, Doino, Hamilton, the great... <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday and slipped in a $200 gift certificate. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. 
Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Hey, Juliet, is everything you are cool? Ridiculous. Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet. Is hey, everything Juliet. cool? Is so oh, yes, stupid. Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew you my name ridiculous. at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Hey, Juliet, is everything Oh, yes, Max. This is so I'm stupid. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. You are ridiculous. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According you to Victoria, know, Dana. According to Victoria. She saw the sext. And Zachary- Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. No need to go there now. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my- Those boots are made for walking runways. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch final- I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. Let me just check to see if she posted my picture. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Boom, this is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. They should call this series aloof. Cold and soulless. Kinda like Victoria. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. Ouch. 
Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. <laughs> hey, Juliet. Is oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room. What? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boy. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh... That's why I'm talking to you. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria... According to Victoria... She saw the sex. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Did. I know the proof is in her room. <clears throat> That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. It would be a cool sticker without the words. This is both sad and pathetic. Uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. I assume Dana kept the appointment. Good lord. Dana really was on her own.
Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? You're pregnant. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have... Yeah, me neither. But I did. Anyway. Oh. What about the other... Deadbeat Dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Who then? And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. this shit. Ow! That... Damn. I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday... I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. 
How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. Max, get your ass over here. Look at Warren in his Wayback Machine. He's a brick. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop, cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white, plus babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Answer me, bitch. Nothing but a butterfly. You're full of shit. I'd respect you more if you told me the truth. I don't need your respect. You're clueless. You have no idea who I am or what I can do. Actually, I have a pretty good idea of who you are. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! No. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't 
Don't even try to run! Nobody messes with me! Nobody! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. Feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No, you were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Broken? Oh man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill-out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? Not much. You know me. I like to observe the world more than participate. I can't say I know you anymore. Maybe you love to go clubbing every night. Can you see me at a rave? I'd dose those candy-flippin' morons and watch them twitch into a DJ dance death rattle. Take a photo of that. Hard to believe Chloe was my BFF just five years ago. I know my room is a disaster, but you can find a disc.
Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student. When she cared. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. I'm not into them. Too pretentious. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. I think this junk swallowed her discs. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. I think this junk swallowed her discs. Hey, give me that! Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. So, Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. 
She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. I see why. I bet your mom was not too happy. She was happy enough to marry a Nazi. Reason number 356 to escape. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. I shouldn't bug Chloe now. Plus, I need those tools. Dark. I cannot see anything. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolfe, but here I am. This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. Act, react, or die, a 21st century survival guide. Whoa, apocalypse self-help. Uh-oh, the prices are late on their bills. Joyce looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. Joy still works at the diner, and Chloe's new dad is a security guard. <laughs> Uh-oh.
Dog tags, sweet. David Matson. Aww. Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. Joyce always loved her mail order catalogs of useless crap. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. Joyce still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. I'd love to go to Paris, too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. Come on, open it, chicken. Hold on, and I'm not chicken. Prove it. You drink first, Max. No way. It was your idea, Chloe. Whatever. Give me that bottle. Well? Tasty. Very tasty. Here, I, I want a sip. Sorry, this is not for kids. Don't be greedy. Give me some. Oh shit, the carpet! There's wine all over. What do we do now? My parents are coming. Cover it up! I should be able to find the tools I need here. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me.
Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Yes! Score! Boom! Precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Yes, here's some ancient cardboard. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? This must belong to Chloe's stepdad. Shit! Butterfingers! Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. Poor little dear. It's not enough to kill you, they have to display your head. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Brr. I can feel autumn pushing out the summer. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. 
I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. Listening. Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered. Told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. I love that they have the same old answering machine. And there's a message. Now this is the Chloe I remember, always smiling and laughing, not so much anymore. Nope, someone locked it from the other side. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. Nice framing, too. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh... No way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. I was freaking out. I could only hear Nathan ranting. So then you did hear us. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? No, I didn't know what to do. I don't blame you. That's some intense shit. 
Maybe I should go to the principal. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. Seriously, I didn't blab to anybody. Promise. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Chloe, are you up there? Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just... Chloe? I'm coming! What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing! Give me a minute! Don't get smart. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing! Give me a minute! Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second! My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth, that's an order. Whose is it? Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon! Hey! Leave Joyce out of this! I wish you'd leave Joyce! Like now! Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother and you just keep pushing me. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time. Or I'll bring the cops in here so fast! You're not that dumb. I'd be smart to have you busted. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hickhole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help?
I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort. So we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. You sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. Are you pissed at me? I just wanted some backup. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. I should have taken his photo when he flipped out on Kate today. That would be killer blackmail material. Let's bust his ass. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Uh, files? I know that look. You peeked. So, dish the dirt. Snuff videos? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwall students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. I worry there's spy cams in the house. I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Good thing you didn't tell anyone. Nathan Prescott better watch his back now. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny.
If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Eleven? Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Oh no. That tornado is headed straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. <gasps> what the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. 